So let's talk about what's going on in your brain that creates that nagging feeling. This is not woo-woo, it's neuroscience. So here's how your brain is constructed. Each neuron has an axon. It's connected to a nucleus, and on the other end are dendrites. Each dendrite connects to the axon of an adjacent neuron, and there's a gap, and that's where the synapse happens. So an electrical pulse comes through your brain. It comes through the axon into the nucleus, into the dendrites, it jumps the gap, and carries on into the next neuron. So you have these continual electrical pulses that are flowing through your brain. And that's how those brain waves work. As you do that repeatedly, as you do that repeatedly with repeated behavior, what the scientists say is that the neurons that fire together wire together. So as you continue to repeat a behavior, the neurons are firing and they're wiring together. So you are literally creating tracks in your brain. As you sit there right now, your brain is filled with all these tracks in your brain. Your brain is literally a representation of the life you have led up to this point. Some of you ought to be going, uh-oh. <laughs> now the more you practice a habit and the more you reinforce a behavior, those little pathways in the brain, they become big old super highways in your brain. So here's what's going on when you get that nagging feeling. You have all these pathways in your brain and that's where the neurons naturally want to flow. So if you're trying to make a choice about a difficult situation or make a decision, then your brain, you're working on the cognitive part of your brain when you're overthinking. So you're looking at that situation and you're comparing it to all those pathways in your brain. And you're going, okay, syncs up, all this information, all this fact syncs up, good to go, thumbs up. But you have all this other capacity in the other two thirds of your brain that's functioning at a subconscious level. It's been collecting information from your environment all this time. You'll see that as we go along. You're collecting all this information and it's feeding all these tracks in the other subconscious part of your brain. And it's picking up sensations about how that boss is going to receive that decision. And it's saying, hello, warning, warning, danger, Will Robinson, danger. Gives you a clue how old I am. And that brain is, that part of your brain is saying, no, we've got a problem here. This does not match up with the patterns in this part of my brain. And it communicates that information to you through that nagging feeling. So if you can access it, then you have a better chance of bringing that into the decision-making process.